So, readers and viewers uh, one, wanted to see inside the uh, the studio, the art studio. Okay, uh, hold on it tight and put on your put on your high hip boots. It's uh, kind of messy, and uh, you wanted to know what goes on between the <laughs> cobwebs. I can tell you that. Uh, but uh, you want to see around the place? I'll uh, be glad to give you a tour. Um, don't forget, you might need a flashlight and um, um, rubber gloves. Or a rubber chicken, that's funnier. Hold on. You know, one of my downfalls of being a cartoonist is a lack of reading. So the older I get, um, the more I'm starting to read. I mean, because when I was a kid, all I usually read were comic books and, well, when I get the newspapers nowadays, it's uh, pretty much uh, the same thing. I go right for the funnies because uh, they're about the best type of, uh, well, news. Um, a lot of my library, I guess, consists of art books and uh, historical movies. A lot of the times, my books kind of are just stuffed in any which way you can just like an abstract random thinker being the artist that I am if I had everything in order uh, I wouldn't know where to find anything <laughs> you know I, I didn't have any real formal training to become a mascot it was uh, basically you know they pulled, pulled us over and said uh, look um, you know all those crazy antics you used to do uh, back in um, uh, high school and you got in trouble for it well um, we want to pay you for it now uh, that's kind of the same idea with cartooning uh, but one of the uh, best words of wisdom I ever got from a fellow cartoonist and mascot Bill Betwee uh, he said uh, if you think you shouldn't do it, uh, do it. And that's a, a great uh, thing to keep in mind when you're cartooning and writing. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> and at the art desk, I got the History Channel on most of the time. Uh, the, also with the History Channel, I will have Comedy Central and the Cartoon Network and of course, you know, just to get my smarts even smarter. A lot of my ideas come from, you know, personal experiences and uh, historical events. Pretty cool to kind of put them together, you know, merge them. Like I remember this particular one here uh, from whenever I was in um, grade school and the science teacher talked about the only man-made object you can see from outer space is the Great Wall of China. <laughs> so I thought I'd make that into a funny. Uh, a lot of the ones that I have out on the table here need to be redone because I'm just not happy with something of it and I want to get back and I have notes all over the place to to redo some of these things. Here's a good one. This actually is from personal experience too. I uh, started the Atkins diet uh, a few years ago and thought of the Battle of the Bulge. This particular one here is funny. I actually have a note on this one and I gotta redo this. It says um, early paparazzi. Uh, my best friend and I came up with one together. We came up with this idea together. We laughed so hard that the usher asked us to leave the movie theater. You know, a, a lot of cartoonists come up with their ideas um, from inspiration, uh, from from reading or watching television. You know, with uh, with history bluffs, it should be I should be cracking down on the the different history websites, and and I do I do that. But uh, you know, a lot of guys I talk to uh, do a lot of their cartooning after midnight. They're more creative. You know, when the bars close at two in the morning. Uh, some guys I talk to. Uh, wake up at the crack of dawn and are very creative. Uh, some of the craziest ideas that I get come to me when I'm stuck in traffic, uh, at a traffic light, uh, usually on the way home and in a hurry or something like that and 
to relieve the stress, I just come up with the craziest and most warped uh, ideas. Matter of fact, I was uh, at a stop sign one time and uh, in front of me, I was the, the second car in line. The first car was this old beat up black car rusted. Uh, the fender was actually being held on by uh, duct tape. There was rope and string and and I, and I looked into the back seat and I saw the, the driver in the back of his hair was standing all out like uh, Yahoo Sirius and Animal from the Muppets and he had his one arm out the side of the window and he had tattoos all up and down and he had a bumper sticker that was so pretty and written written in old English gothic text almost like calligraphy it, it said uh, my kid beat up your honor student I laughed so hard that um, the light turned green and everybody else passed me and I was still laughing so I come up at the darndest places where I get my ideas <laughs>